Welcome to the channel, I'm Mr. Steve, and I'm going to show you guys a little update I've been working on on the Cracks add-on. So go ahead and ring that bell, smash that subscribe and that like, and don't miss any updates that are coming, not only for the add-ons I create, but I also do add-ons for other people's uh, add-ons too. I do tutorials for them, and also I do Blender 4.0 and 3.6 updates. So this is version 1.0 still, but if you were to download it, you'll see 1.1 because there's some upgrades. Uh, so now the Make Cuts button is a little bigger, so you can see it. And as soon as you do that, you'll get an Apply Cut button here, and you'll have the Restore Default Settings, and you can check on and off any one of those boxes, and it restores it. Now, if you've saved your file, you can just immediately uh, go down to Bake, but you want to change your frames first. You kind of bring them down to something reasonable, because you don't have to bake 250 frames for a cell fracture. So go ahead and click Bake. Probably is going to take about 5 to 10 seconds on a slow PC, maybe 30 or 40 seconds. Yeah, pretty good. I like that. And then as you go through, you'll see all the different pieces that you just baked out. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Then you can apply that. And so now that's applied. Now, what's what are you going to do with this, right? You want to be able to make a simulation out of this and break all these parts up. So now all you have to do is click separate and it's going to separate it just like the cell fracture add-on. Now, I've still got a little bit more work to do because I want to be able to add the active uh, rigid body here and then transfer it to all the other parts, but I haven't got that far just yet. But if you wanted to, I'll go ahead and show you. Um, I would just add the rigid body to this one, and then I can hit A for all and make sure that that one with the physics on it is the active and I can add this to a parts collection. Now it's in a loose parts collection so you can actually select everything if you need to with the right click and select objects. Now I want to transfer everything so just go to object and I'll go to rigid body and I want to copy that from active. And I'm not sure that I actually had that selected properly so I have to go back down. Uh, and copy from active. Now each one of these pieces should have an active on it, and it does. So A, G, Z, bring it up. Having all kind of issues tonight. My snap's not even on. Oh, that's right. Can't move it once it's got the uh, rigid body. So anyways, no problem, throw a plane in. I'm gonna bring it down just a touch, something like that. And I'm gonna throw a passive on that one. So it's a little easier, but I've got some more stuff I wanna to do to fully automate this. And let's see, let's select this one more time. Go to objects, and then I wanna to go to rich body. And I think what we could do, where is it, where is it? Calculate mass, there we go. I don't, plus, I don't uh, mess around with this very much. I um, think we could make this something like brick. Concrete always worked really good back in the day, so I'll throw concrete on there. And with that calculated, the mass will be different over here with each one of these, which is really cool. Was well, that piece was 5,000 pounds, 5,000 kilograms, depending on where you're at. And now we can just kind of see how this goes. And I'll go ahead and hit play. <laughs> not quite what I wanted, but... You know, I'm not going to take the time to go through and, and correct all that stuff right now. But you can see that the uh, cell fracture here actually works quite nicely. And I would say that the uh, plane and everything else is not really in the right spot. But it's okay. So anyhow, the add-on works pretty darn good uh, for a simulation setup for uh, cell fracture and everything else. And then if you were to throw in cube and we'll click make cuts then you can go ahead and uh, sub d this and let me make sure i'm back on frame one so we can actually see it i want to reset the default values uh, so we have nice clean cuts and this is how you get a sphere uh, with some cuts and i'm gonna go ahead and bake this out same amount of frames so it shouldn't take too long i won't bother pausing the video uh, you got to subdivide two if you want to clean the cracks up that way. And I do have a merge by distance down here at the bottom. Uh, I didn't really feel the need to put that in to the add-on, but you can access that if you need it. So right about there, I'll just kind of add those cracks like that. 
That looks pretty decent. And now I should be able to subdivide that. Let's bring that back to one. And I'll have to actually rebake that, but no big deal. I've got a delete button right here for the bake. So you can actually delete that and then rebake. And you'll see the, uh, the new structure is pretty much like a cube. Uh, it's pretty cool because now you can make some of those more hard surface like um, items look a lot better with the add-on and we'll give this just a second and then I'm going to jump out and auto, auto shade smooth this thing. I think that looks really good right there. I don't see any, well, there's a little bit of issue here. So like things like this, you can actually get out of there uh, pretty easily by just doing a few adjustments and changing a couple things, deleting the bake and then uh, resetting the bake. And it's going to bake out, so I'm going to let it go ahead. I changed the noise type. The vor noise is a little touchy, and you've kind of got to keep it uh, somewhere between like negative 1 and like 1.2-ish, but you can do whatever you want. And so I get a little bit of a um, different setup here, but it's okay. Uh, this one is nice and clean. I like that. The lines are a little bit straighter, so I could probably throw a little bit more noise in there, and I can change the resolution to something like 25 and that'll kind of break up the um, cuts a little bit better all right so that doesn't look too bad I like how that came out and you can go through and correct um, any issues you see there's also a shade smooth that actually works now so we can use that and then we can apply the cuts come back out and I'll shade auto smooth on this and that actually looks pretty darn good so uh, there would potentially be a few like little cleanup issues. I'm working on fixing that so it doesn't do that, but it's kind of it's kind of how you set it up. So it's kind of like, it's gonna be really difficult to make that perfect for um, every single one. I think you just kind of have to clean it up yourself for the most part. Uh, then we can separate that as well and go back into object mode. And then we got a bunch of beautiful pieces. And I even shade auto smooth on that. So I mean. The sky's kind of the limit there. So there's a few more things. You can actually throw in cylinder. You can pretty much throw in anything you want um, and add the cell fracture to it. See, that works pretty well. You can throw in a cone as well. And we'll click Make Cuts. I think I'm going to go ahead and bake the cone. Shouldn't take too long. This would be pretty quick. There's not too much geo here. I always try to move the mouse whenever it's doing that. And we're done. All right, not too bad. Um, yeah, that actually doesn't look too bad at all. You got a little bit of a, a shading error there, but that's why you kind of adjust the sim back. Uh, it's a little bit more of like a threshold, if you will, because you can always um, cut these pieces again if you wanted to. So, I mean, I could definitely do another cut and fix all of that. And then I'll actually just have to rebake it. And so because I didn't actually change any of the settings, unfortunately, it cracked it even more in the same spot. But no big deal. Works nicely. Apply the cuts, separate the parts, voila, you got some nice pieces. And if you want, you can cut those individual pieces as well. And this add-on will be on the Blender Market, and it will be on my Gumroad link in the bio. So go check that out, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial lesson.